here is my sort of DIY electric moped scooter thingamabob. Um, it's currently for sale on eBay. I'll put the link um, to the listing in the description of the video. I've received quite a few questions about it, mostly around how fast does it go, what is the range, where can you take it, what kind of license do you need to ride it, that kind of thing. The license, you either need a bike license, a full bike license, um, any of the categories will be fine, or it's essentially the equivalent of an electric version of a 50cc, so you can ride this with uh, a CBT and L plate. So today I'm going to take it out now that it's fully charged and we're going to see a little bit about um, the top speed, the kind of performance you can expect from this kind of bike and also the range. Time. But we're going to do a mix of terrains, might even do a little bit of off-road if we find some simple uh, green lanes as you know everything that I do usually results in going down a byway at some point um, just because it's more fun and actually this bike is surprisingly capable. So to give you a bit of an idea on the specs, it is a uh, rear wheel hub motor, 12 inch wheel, uh, 12 inch wheel on the front and it has a disc brake on the front and actually a drum brake on the rear but the drum brake works really well actually, it um, will easily lock the rear wheel when you pull the brakes. It is 72 volts, oh, that's lithium iron phosphate prismatic cell battery which I got from GTK batteries, you can see the GTK batteries sticker just there. Very tall EM50 uh, brushless motor controller. And then you've got a DC to DC 12 volt converter. So that takes the power from the 72 volt battery and it puts out 12 volts. So you can just use normal motorbikes sort of indicators, uh, all of that kind of stuff. All the lights and everything are still 12 volts. So it's easy to look at. Look at it. 555 kilometers. In total, so we'll see how that's looking when we get back. Uh, I've added a couple of little bits of bobs, like I've got this USB port here for charging phones. Obviously, I've got my phone mount here, so you can do a bit of navigating. I've got a route plan that's about 35 miles, something like that. So there should be a good test of it. We might go a bit further just to see if we can push them. I'm expecting at least 35 miles, probably 40 miles. I have had 45 miles out of it in the past just slowly going around town but obviously if you're keeping up with traffic and you're sort of using it at full power that's going to drain the battery a little quicker but it's a very big battery so without any more ado I do without any more ado uh, let's get kitted up and then get onto the road see how far this goes first test once we've got a full charge it should be I think a little naught to 30 so I've got the drag racer app wait for a clear bit of road and then we're ready, go! And then this is a good opportunity to show how the sort of instant torque of even a gentle electric racer Busy traffic, some of it quite fast moving, big old, big old roundabout. It's a little bit intimidating riding something so small around here, but just to show more than possible, you keep up with the uh, road. only a matter of time. Uh, found a first byway, it's a little trail to try it out on. This is a byway open to all traffic, so although it doesn't look like it, it actually could be used by cars, um, but you're certainly fine to ride this scooter down here. Whether people would think that's a good idea and whether or not people are surprised to see a scooter down here is another matter, but it's fairly smooth. It's not like a proper, you know, testing off-road terrain or anything. It's sort of gravel and a bit of mud, but good fun as well. it just shows you don't need to spend big bucks and get a giant 
KTM Adventure Bike to explore your local lanes. And uh, this has got road tyres on and they're at road pressure, although I have no idea what pressure that is because I haven't checked them in a while. I'll obviously check them before I let you on ride a right way on it. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite good on this. No ABS, so apply the brakes on a muddy bit. The ABS is your finger. Uh, it actually does have a kind of rudimentary traction control powered by the um, control by the rotor controller. So if you get to a muddy bit and give it too much throttle, you'll get a little bit of wheel slip and then it will just take the power off until it kind of gets correct. So that's pretty cool. big puddles. But it's kind of amazing how smooth the suspension is. I know this is rough terrain but by no means smooth harbour. Mostly mud and gravel. But even sitting down this bike just is a kind of really good fun to ride off road. charge 78.9 so plenty of charge left now the question is do we then take the road now or do we go off on another little trail it's inevitable it looks like this byway has been recently re-graveled and graded so it's not going to be as muddy hopefully as it was months ago but it's definitely quite a little bit bouncy too deep but again electricity and water not always the best of friends but the good thing about this is it fits over this bridge
muddy and ungraded, but I should be able to scoot around the worst. Literally scoot, but the scoot. Bigger one, but uh, all right. Let's try right. Right around this one, then through the middle of this one, and then we'll just scoot around the right of this, through the middle of that, right of this, up on this little bank, drop in across here. Springfield's grave is in that graveyard of that church. And a busy old spot. It's quite a narrow bridge, so it's quite hard to squeeze through the traffic, but not impossible. Hundred kilometers on the odometer. I don't know if you can see that properly, but that means 45 kilometers done overall. Still at 78.2, so there's plenty of charge left.
about this scooter though is it's so quiet. Battery currently at 76.9, so still some charge. And we're at 613 kilometers, so not far to go to get home now. Right, so we're back home, and the speedo is now reading, the odometer now reads 616 kilometers, which means we've done. 61 kilometers or just a smidgen short of 39 miles since setting off which is decent and we look in here the battery is currently at 76.1 or oh, it's just normal stabilizing 75.8 so just getting to probably 40 percent capacity left so you've got another probably 10, 10 miles, maybe 15 if you take it easy to go. I just haven't got time to completely run it out today. I did do a couple of laps around the block, just hammering it up and down a couple of hills just to, you know, get a bit of charge out. But yeah, I mean, 40 miles range, it's probably more than you need for um, your average commute because if you bring your charger with you, you can charge it up whilst you're at work or if you don't bring a charger with you, you can probably make it there and back if you've got less than a 20 mile commute. So, great little bike. So if you're interested in it, the link to the eBay auction is in the description of the video. Um, and whoever wins it, I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, even I haven't cleaned it. It's gone through all of those trails. It's all in one piece. It's not even that dirty. I'll give it a wipe, obviously. But yeah, so great little bike for what it is. Catch you on the next one.